Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it, and I'd be able to send videos like this to your inbox as soon as tomorrow morning. If you like this watch, you can buy it with 1,700 of its pre-owned and vintage friends on our website, thewatchbox.com. Buy, trade, and sell luxury watches on thewatchbox.com. I should also mention that as a current collection Breitling watch, new for the 2018 model, year. If we don't have one pre-owned, you can give my buddy Claudio a call at our Walnut Street Boutique, and he might be able to hook you up. So the timepiece on my wrist is part of the first Georges Kern created collection under Breitling's new private equity ownership. So this watch bowed in early 2018, and I was at the February unveil at the Brooklyn Navy Yard. This is undoubtedly the most striking member visually of the new family. It is the Navitimer 8 Chronograph 43 Black Steel. So this is 43 millimeters in diameter. You can see on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist. The watch looks bigger than it is. It looks absolutely huge, incredibly stark. It's not terribly thick, though. You'll find only 14.3 millimeters thick with a little bit of a slope to the bezel. You will be able to slide it underneath a cuff of a jacket. Lug to lug, it's fairly tame. 50.7 millimeters. You'll find that you could wear this on a wrist somewhere between 14 and 14 and a half centimeters circumference, the lower end of that scale if your wrist is more oval. Breitling is trying hard to make its lugs shorter and its large watches more wearable on smaller wrists, and I find that they're actually succeeding on that front. The watch is stainless steel with a DLC, or diamond-like carbon coating, so highly scratch-resistant. It's not scratch-proof, but if you're going to have a PVD watch, PVD being the process, DLC being the material, you want your PVD to be DLC. Now you can see the watch has a dramatic and nicely coordinated all black with minimal contrasting stitch calfskin leather strap bolstered down the center. It has a wonderful sheer cut edge, and you can see it well from that angle. The two layers bonded together, very supple on the wrist. It is an incredibly comfortable strap. And you'll note that the buckle is a new Breitling design. It has a little bit of a bevel and a flare that matches the design of the lugs. So design continuity from component to component, I like that. You'll also note that this one is more subdued than your standard Navitimer 01, whether the B01, or I should say Navitimer 8, whether B01 or the 43 with the ETA caliber, as you see here, because it's all satin finished, and whereas the bevels and the bezel and some details on the crown side, like crown and pushers, would be polished on the standard watch, here it's all muted, blacked out, almost stealth inspired. You can see the bezel, and it is a bi-directional rotating bezel. You line it up with the minute hand, and now you can approximate the, I would say, quarters, probably the timing interval that you can best read off of the bezel, because lacking any calibrations other than the index, it's an imperfect timing reference, though you should be able to roughly eyeball 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and the hour. Now, of course, you can always start the chronograph if you wish to time more precisely. The bezel is inspired by instruments from Breitling's Huit Aviation Division of the 1930s, which didn't necessarily make watches, was perhaps a little bit more oriented toward aviation instruments for cockpit flight decks, and thus the aesthetic of this watch borrowed from that inspiration. You'll note the bezel, which actually has a wonderfully positive feel to it. There is no detent. It's completely slick, and it slides with a lugubrious luxury that I absolutely adore. So from a tactile sense, wonderful. The dial, high contrast. Outboard, you can see there's a sort of aviator's calibration that's from those Breitling 1930s cockpit instruments, and all printed almost vanilla simulated patina radium loom numerals, as well as hands at center. Chagere Le Coult has a similar treatment on its 2018 Polaris Memovox, as well as the Polaris Automatic, and they refer to this color as vanilla, and I'm going to run with that here. Not Breitling's nomenclature, but it fits. Now you can see that the dial is a stark matte black that contrasts rather dramatically with the metallic sunburst of the other watches in the series. It's very easy to read, though, thanks to all light calibration on a dark base. You can see chronograph minutes and hours favored with more precise calibration, running seconds visible at... 9 o'clock. There will be a loom shot, so stay tuned. Of course, the difference between the Navitimer 8 Chronograph 43 that you see here and the Navitimer 8 B01 is the in-house caliber. So this one features the classical 9 heavy 
tri-register of a Valshu 7750, and indeed that is what's inside the case. You can see, going by the Breitling nomenclature caliber 13, water resistant to 100 meters thanks to the screw down crown and screwed in case back, it is a chronometer certified 25 joule Valshu 7750. Unidirectional winding, 42 hour power reserve, beating weight at 28,800 vibrations per hour. Not only does it feature a double quick set for the calendar, so day and date both quick set, it features hacking seconds so you can synchronize the watch precisely to a reference timer. Of course, Breitling ordering a very high grade variant of this movement. The tuning is crisp, crisp enough that I would compare it favorably to most column wheel movements. You will not regret the fact that this one has a cam shuttle rather than a column wheel arrangement. Big, though perhaps not as big as it looks, wearable, even on small wrists, and easily the most distinctive 2018 Breitling novelty, you can see this Breitling Navitimer 8 Chronograph 43 Black Steel and make it yours on our website. And I am back with the Breitling Navitimer 8 Chronograph 43 Black Steel. They're all quite bright by night. This one gives up maybe a little bit of luminous punch to its vanilla colored Luminova, but as you can see, still a full featured watch by night. See it by day on thewatchbox.com.